there ain't no Cam Newton without a Donovan McNabb. And I'm not saying that, you know, just because I seen the era where it was the Aaron Brooks, it was the Donovan McNabbs. The, the Byron Leftwich. The Byron Leftwich. Yeah, David Garrard. The Charlie Batch Charlie for that, Batch, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, these quarterbacks and you being at the top of your game, then managing the egos of the T.O.s and just the, the Philly uh, the fans, the Philly fans, and just the disappointment, but also just being like, "Yo, bro, like he, you reached out to me," and I was like, "Yo, like talk to me," and and it wasn't more so. I wish I would have heard that sooner. You did. But that's the thing about us being young. Like, yeah. Because I talked to Warren Moon, I talked to Doug, I talked to James Harris. Mm -hmm. You know, guys that have paved the way for us, but been in that spot. Yeah. So when I got drafted, I had already talked to them and understood a little bit what to expect. Now, again, it's on us to be able to take that, understand that, apply it, mm -hmm. and continue to work and grind. Yeah. So it wasn't until my second, third year, because I had Andy, and Andy would tell me what, what Brett would do, and I would always tell him, I'm, I'm different than Brett. Yeah. Like, I'm different than Brett, but I, I appreciate it. And I had Doug Peterson. He was the quarterback ahead of me. Mm -hmm. And he would tell me, listen, Brett didn't do all that. <laughs> but... <laughs>